A lot of PS2s, hey? It does have the 30 years. Yeah, this Star Wars one. It's oh, like yeah. The, um, it's the complete, like the whole, all the movies. I was like, I wonder if that would. Like, oh, yeah. I reckon that would. We'll put that with, with those. Um, and I've had a couple of winners. I know Alf sells for about a hundred bucks. All right, so a few days ago, I received a DM on Instagram by the name of Jordan. He's a viewer of the channel and he said that he was ultimately gonna be quitting eBay and he's gonna be running a garage sale this weekend, but he offered me the first opportunity to pop over and dig through all of his eBay inventory to purchase whatever I'd like for my own store. And I jumped at the chance. So in this video today, we're gonna to go over to Jordan's place. I'm gonna go through all of the things that we ended up purchasing, but I really wanna take you through the reasons as to why I bought what I bought and also why I chose to leave behind what ended up staying at Jordan's place. Let's get over to Jordan's place now and uh, see what he's got for us. Hey brother. How you doing? Good, how are you doing? That's the way, I am well. Nice to meet you. Good to see you. Seeing all your videos. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I appreciate it, man. I'll find them for you. If you want a lot of PS2s, hey? Yeah, so um, when I found the consoles, it was like PS2 bundles, like on Facebook Marketplace and, and stuff like that. Yep. And actually eBay. If you, I was looking at um, uh, listings that end like at two in the morning and stuff. Oh, and, smart. And like, I got uh, one on the Gold Coast that was pick up where my dad lives. Yeah. And it was, I think I got like 40 video games and a PS2 for 50 bucks. Oh, wow. And like there were like Simpsons Hit and Run, some Dragon Ball Z games. Some and, top end. Yeah, and I was just like, because it finished so late, Yep. Like, like early in the morning, I should say. Absolutely. Got it, so. Oh, that's elite, mate. And how long were you having a crack at, at doing it? Was uh, there... Like, probably in Dolby for about a year. Yep. And then moved down here and it sort of, yeah, died off, so. Yeah, I was okay. selling, like, stuff every day, but it's just, yeah, it just pulled up in the end. Was it the case that you just probably didn't have enough time? Is that... Yeah, definitely not enough time. Just the reason as to yeah, why? like, quality of life and time. It's like spending time with the wife and stuff, because doing night shift, I have to do it during, like, spend time with them during the day. Yeah. And then because of that, I can't... Um, yeah, can't get this done. Can't yeah. get this done. Yeah. So your uh, your wife's gonna be pretty stoked then when you uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Clean out all this sort of stuff. Yeah, she's wasn't too happy with the first place, but you know. Oh well, you got to give these things a bit of a try. That's right. I know a lot more from it now. So I tell you what, you could um, actually spend a bit of time just listing up a couple of the, the bigger ticket stuff, maybe. Yeah. yeah you know, I'll, like yeah, just just true. keep it to a really condensed store. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Because um, I know what sells now, I guess. So. Absolutely. Yeah. What's that on there? Barai Fighter. Well, I haven't tested those ones. I just picked them up um, from a mate that he yeah. made around his house. They don't look like they're in too bad condition. These cases generally hold up the games pretty well, so yeah, they should be okay. A couple of Xbox. Geez, even still after doing it all these years, you still come across titles you've just never heard of. Yep, yeah, definitely. Well, yeah, you got clothing in there? Yeah, there's like some jerseys and stuff, so I know you were sort of getting out of those. Yeah, the jerseys are kind of everything that I'm holding on to from a clothing sense. It's yep. just, just the, uh, the jerseys. What um what ones have you got? Um, so some I don't know if they're genuine or not. Right. Like, oh, cool. Basketball ones, you mean? Yeah. So yep. There's that one. I don't think that one is legit. Yeah. I just sort of, wow, that's cool. I'll get that. Yeah, so anytime you see that made in Thailand, yep. um, that's when you know it's going to be some form of... Like fake. Yeah, yeah, some form of fake. Some are better than others, and some of them look really good too. Really hard to determine. Oh, that's the... Com Games? Yeah, I think so. Com Games Long Sleeve. Where they had that, um, like, find it in a store sort of thing. Oh, in. right. I can't remember what it was. Yeah, nice. And you know what? Even with your garage sale, these sorts of things get snapped up. Yeah, like, that's right. Wildly quick. I found, I found that one. That's right. It's got the missing letters which is and the patch, which is a bit of a yeah. tricky one. What's good about it, though, I think, even though it is a bit used, is it does have the 30 years. Yeah. So it's the it's still there, but yeah, the thirty-year badge on it. And I found this one too. Uh, I don't know if that one's real or not. And all it says looks, made in Canada, but yeah, these. Has it got one? No, it doesn't have anything down the bottom there. It's got that on the inside though, which is probably a help. Yep. Sometimes the fakes wouldn't bother to put that uh that clip on the back. 
Yeah. He's got a player name on the back or anything? No. No. It's the plan. Standard. Um, yeah, okay. Well, I think it's literally the only one, I reckon. Yeah, just that. Yeah, all good, mate. I reckon just that one. Um, but yeah, Garage Sale, they'll, they'll be gone in a heartbeat. So the shoes, I'll probably I'll find, try and find the better ones that I've found. Yeah, the golf shoes do well. Yeah. Pumas. You going back to the vans or no? I, I don't. No, no I've, I've stepped away from the vans a little bit. The footy boots do okay. Yep. Um, what you got here? These Keens would do pretty well. Yeah. So I think that'd be, yes. This is a brand I've never heard of, but they were like, they look brand new. Ciccone's. Yeah. Yep. I've never heard of them. So. Yep. Ciccone's uh, can do well, like yep. anything, depending on which one. Uh, got some glycerins. Which ones are these? The numbers usually on I mean, there. they're pretty old ones, though. The Older. Ones. The 17s. Yeah. Glycerin 17s. And some Nikes. Puma. I don't think there's anything else in there that's that good. So th these there. are more of the stuff that I found fit, like, while I was starting. I was like, Ugh. Yeah, what are they? Asics. Asics um, casuals like that can go okay. Footy boots. Size is so important, hey? Yeah. Um, these in good nick. Predators. Just a little bit of peel. Mm -hmm. Which always happens. And these. Too bad. What, are they, they Kayanos? Yeah. 24s. Yep. I'm going to that one. Alright, uh, those um, lethal testimonials. Uh, these ones? I'll yeah. look at those as well, I reckon. They're a bit of a smaller size. Bit of a small size, but they're, they're a more a slightly higher end boot. Yeah. Those ones. Okay, so to help you out, I reckon we can. Yeah, shove that off to the side. We can make that garage sale for you. Oh, more good. shoes here, right? Yeah. <laughs> That's the best part about it. I love the. Like you, you thought you found everything as well. There's a little bit. Yeah, of... it's nothing, nothing better. And people will always say to me when I come over to their place and have a look, and they're like, "Oh, I'm sorry, it's really messy." I'm yeah. like, "The messier, the better." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do you do much of like the plushes or toys and stuff? Geez, I used to. Yeah. I used more. to have a serious problem with it, eh? Yeah, fair enough. Um, but I, I did step away from it. Um, I found like a lot of successful flushes actually, uh, with only certain ones though. Certain ones, but... Definitely I'm, like Pokemon flushes and, and things like that. Yep, I know the category can do pretty well. Um, and I've had a couple of winners. I know Alf sells for about 100 bucks. Jeez. Um, he can sell really well. I sold... I've, a, I've found him two or three times actually. I sold uh, like a, a like medium sized Shrek for like 60 bucks. Uh, he paid $2 for it. Like, that kind of stuff is just really fun. How was he to ship? Was he uh, too he's, big he's or? Squished into like a medium size, one of those fifteen ninety five ones. Oh yes, so pretty good. That's all right. Were you using my post business for your postage? No, I wasn't. I no. was like really lazy to set that up. <laughs> really yeah, right. Discounts and stuff. Like, uh huh. Yeah. Geez, Medis have really slowed up. They don't don't no, seem no. to sell as well as they used to. Yeah. They're a good colorway too. That's a real shame. I just don't know why they have slowed up like they have. Size is that one? It's a 12, that's my size. Yeah. Women's 12, yep. Yeah. Might leave them. All right, so that's all aside. Yeah, yeah. I'm interested in all the games. Yep. Uh, now the DVDs, probably want to look at more your complete series. Of course, yeah. Um, because sell-through rate on the individuals, I've basically spent the last four weeks going through uh, individual DVD seasons, like a lot of this sort of stuff here, yep. um, which I've ripped out of my store that I was originally yeah. buying, and now I'm not seeing the transactions coming through as thick and fast. Also, yep. too, just a smaller average sale price yeah, okay. um, has caused me to step away, but... I'm happy to do video games in like big bulk bundles. Yeah, definitely. Um, that's a bit easier to get away with. So, 
I don't know if it's a case of maybe just making a bit of a tower. Yeah, we can do that. Out of Simpsons all in one tower. Or Simpsons, we'll definitely look at that. Yeah. Um, I could probably do this pretty quickly as well, to be honest, I reckon. Salem. It's all right. I'll have a look into those. Someone, uh, just like unique ones that I found, I was like, oh, I wonder if they would go, because I haven't found comps like this Star Wars one. It's oh, like yeah. The, um, it's the complete, like the whole, all the movies. I was like, I wonder if that would like, yeah. go okay. Yeah, I reckon that would. And being in a, a complete box like that, the yeah. Skywalker saga. And I paid 10 bucks for it, I was like, whoa. Yeah, I reckon it's worth a shot. Um, I think we'll leave that. I'll leave that. Yeah, this is more of the... The beginning? Yeah, the, the beginning of just grabbing stuff. I remember there was a, a, state, it was a cease and estate where oh. there was just so many videos. And I was like, oh man, and they only wanted 30 bucks. And I was like, oh, okay. Just so, took them all. Yeah. We'll add that one, Charlie's. Yep. Um, yeah, if you can ever get big bulk buyers like that. So that yeah, grab them and then just sort through them later. I mean, 30 bucks, it's a no-brainer. You just do it and work through it. It's a bit, a little bit timely to sift through and work it all out, but I mean, it can, can pay off. If you can, yeah. <laughs> if you can make it work. All right, well, I think that's enough out of that one. I think I'm interested in the ones that you've tested for the PlayStation 2 consoles. Yep. Leave the um, other one. Yeah, if it's for parts, I'll, yeah. I'll just may as well just... Yeah, leave it, yeah. Just leave it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, oh, look, to be honest, that, that would sell in a heartbeat. Yeah. Um, you advertise it as for repairs and someone's snapping it up. Yeah. Um, but I may as well just sell the, the completes. Yeah, that, that was the plan with the PlayStation 2 was eventually going through into a massive bundle and then selling. Yeah. But the other one is it came with like just all the cords and stuff when you buy them. The, these two, I think, are the, um, the authentic. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. The authentic controllers. So we'll put that with, with those. Yeah. Um, and then... That's all the cabling, is it, for the PlayStation? Is, I'll just double check it, but I'm pretty sure that it matches each one. So okay. it should be five, uh, five, but obviously that one doesn't matter. Cause... Yep. Let's have a look. 2XL. Is it a kids or, a, or an adult? I'm not sure. Oh, it's, it's an interesting one, because I would say that's more like a large. Yeah. I'll grab it. Okay. Like, um, yeah, so shoes, yep. a couple of pieces of, uh, just I think two jerseys yeah. there, all the video games that we've looked out, yep. uh, and then just some, some DVDs. Not as many DVDs, but like I said, I'm trying to limit yeah. what I'm doing there. And just like that, we are back home. Um, an awesome opportunity to pop out to Jordan's place. Uh, a lot of great stuff that I actually already try to sell myself. So to be able to go over to his place and just source the same sort of inventory was an absolute pleasure. Um, now, as you would have seen, I focused on shoes, DVDs, video games, and we grabbed a couple of clothing items. Um, so we're gonna go through each of them and I'm gonna show you the reasons as to why I bought what I did and the reasons why I left behind uh, what I did. Now, we're gonna start it off with the shoes. All right, so if you're just starting out with selling on eBay, I can tell you right now that this brand here, Keen, is an incredibly good brand to be selling. I'm listing this one up for about $80. Uh, a really good hiking shoe brand. They're in great condition. The only limitation with these is there was no insole there. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put that into the description. I'm gonna make sure I take a photo. Um, now, Hokers, we had two pairs of Hokers. You can always guarantee yourself 80 to $100 if they're in good condition with the Hoka running shoe brand. Um, the soles on these aren't too bad. There's definitely a little bit of wear, but ultimately they are in really good condition. These ones are the better ones. I'm actually gonna be listing these shoes up for $109. So not too bad for a pair of running shoes um, that are pre-owned as well. So awesome brand, Hoka, make sure you're looking for it. Uh, Nike is obviously a pretty much a staple shoe, but not all Nikes sell well. Um, these though are an incredible pair of shoes. These are actually the Zoom Fly 3s, and I saw an exact match for size and color going for about $80 in pre-owned condition. So as you can see, Keen, Hoka, these Nikes, they're all very, very high average sale price shoes. And then the final one as well, that's gonna go for about $65 to $70. Um, these are the Lethal Testimonials. Genuine leather, 
Um, if you guys are unfamiliar with footy boots, if you're seeing the genuine leather, um, that is always a pretty good start, but it's, it's just a matter of doing your comp research. I did my comp research for years before I got to this moment where I was able to pick out the best shoes in the mix. Um, everything else that you saw in there, I genuinely don't think the sell-through rate would have been great, and I think the average sale price would have been a whole lot less. I also bought those ASICS Gel Keanu 24s. They've sold. A viewer of the channel has jumped onto my eBay store and they shot me a message and said, could we do the deal on Instagram to save a bit of money? I said, yes, absolutely. And we got a $50 sale price for those. Um, they were actually a certain um, runner. Um, it was a, a, an edition of Gel Kayana. It was a Japanese marathon runner. Um, so maybe he got a steal at $50. But for me, knowing that I was able to buy all of these high, high price shoes, $50 on Instagram didn't seem too bad. Um, so there you go. Asics, Hoka, Keen, Nike top end shoes and really only through experience you're going to realize when you see it like that and you're going to be able to pick through private picks like that um, if you're not sure buy them all off whoever you're buying off and then just sit there and do all your comp research when you get back at home and you'll know over time which ones to look for but that's them Okay, next up, um, we've got some clothing. Uh, so we bought the Hawthorne Hawks uh, footy jersey. I think we're going to get about $50 for that. That is genuine. Um, I can tell by the sponsorships, Tasmania up there. I can tell by the tag as well, um, AFL official license product, and then that on the back as well. So that's a really good jersey. Um, we should do pretty well with that. There were some good comps on eBay around about that $45 to $50 price point. Uh, and then the other one as well was this State of Origin. Um, this State of Origin jersey, even though the sponsorship has faded, um, these jerseys go for about 50 bucks as well. So this one being a size large is a good size. Um, and any of these old vintage jerseys do really well, um, especially your State of Origins. So out of all of the other clothing, again, they wouldn't have been quite worth $50 from what I was seeing. Uh, I just saw the two jerseys, knew that they were going to be a little bit more high-end. The sell-through rate's always going to be a little bit stronger. Um, so I'm going to continue down the path of only doing my clothing in the sporting jersey category. Now, DVDs. DVDs we did really well and I got very strategic, didn't I? Normally I would have just bought every single DVD that I could see in sight, but not anymore. I'm getting a little bit more strategic with my purchasing. Um, anytime you see a Simpsons DVD, just go ahead and buy it. You can list these ones up individually for about 20 bucks or you can do them in a bundle. I will say that the allocation here isn't consecutive. There's not multiple seasons in a row here. And we've got double ups of season one and four, and then we've got a couple of other sporadic seasons. So I think they're actually gonna be individual listings to be fair, um, but that's gonna be 20 bucks a piece. There's gonna be significant money in that. And then these as well, I grabbed this tower of DVDs and that was it. He had so many DVDs and I just said no to everything. And the reason being is that these have really slow sell through rates if you're just trying to sell this one season of Charlie's Angels. As soon as you find the complete series set of three, you get a quicker sell through rate because it's everything that the buyer would need. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just start to source this sort of stuff from now on, complete series sets. Um, exceptions obviously to things like The Simpsons where the average sale price is about 20, 20 odd dollars. And if you sell The Simpsons in its entirety, season one to 20, these days you're getting about $500. So that's why when it's a $500 complete set, I'm happy to break it down and sell them off individually because it is a popular show. Um, this one as well, I, I kind of went against the rule for this one, more so for the fact that I had no idea what this show was and it looked like it might be worth a little bit of money because it was vintage, it was just slightly older. Like Charlie's Angels, 1970, this one looks similar. I think I can sell this one for about $15. So hopefully that one can go on to sell in a quick space of time. Um, anime is a bit hit or miss. I used to think that anime was just the absolute way to go. You're always gonna make good money. But this one here, Full Metal uh, Alchemist, um, that was going for some significant money as a collection two only. Um, so there's still plenty more to find out there. Volume one and two would have gone for some serious money. Um, but Full Metal Alchemist, uh, we should do okay there. Um, this one as well, the Skywalker Saga, that goes for about $45. Again, you're talking a complete series set of all nine movies. Um, so that will do well. Big, big TV show here, guys. If you get the remastered version in the big fat case of Dragon Ball Z, um, these are a complete series set of nine. I've got four seasons, but they're high-end seasons. Um, so we're talking season five, six, seven, and eight. Definitely a show for you guys to be looking for. I'm gonna list this one up for $100. Um, so as soon as I saw that, oh, get that out of the camera shot. As soon as I saw that, um, Jesus. 
as soon as I saw that in the photos of Jordan's place uh, before I went over there, I knew that I was going to be taking that one home. Uh, and then a couple of other box sets here as well. So this sort of stuff in the DVD category is definitely something to focus on. Um, very happy to have only cherry picked those ones out of everything else that I saw. It just would have taken longer to sell. Very happy with this purchase as well, guys. As you would have seen, we got them for $100, the PlayStation 2 consoles. Every single one of these consoles has a different number. And what I mean by number is the, the number on the back, uh, the model number. So there it is there. We've got SCPH uh, 30002. Um, now, all of them have a different number, and that's what you want to be comp searching to work out the value when you get it onto eBay. So even though there were different numbers, I'm going to be able to list all of these up because they have their cables, and a couple of them have their controllers, just two out of the four. Um, I'm going to go ahead and list them up for $120 each. So I think I should be able to get about 120. It'll mean $100 because you'll ship it off for about 20 bucks in postage. Um, but what's that? $480 worth of consoles and I only paid the $100. So that's fantastic. Now I'm gonna spin the camera around and give you a look at all of these video games because I've broken them up and this is definitely the best of the bunch. So what you're seeing here is we've got a large allocation of PlayStation 2 games. Now I've actually gone ahead and I've listed this allocation up as a bundle of 60. None of these games sell for anything more than $15. So I've just gone ahead and I've collated them all to the side. And then this one here is exactly the same. I'm just gonna do a listing on eBay for 20 items and then a listing for 60 items. This is gonna be $4 a piece, $240 in value. And this one's gonna be $80 at $4 a piece. So even though they're not worth a lot of money, by going ahead and buying bulk in video games, I'm gonna try and make myself $320 in two sales. So I don't think you should go ahead and donate your, uh, your video games, collate them into their, well, even their labels. So you've got your black labels here and then you've got your platinum editions here. Um, and take your photos like that because people will go ahead and scan through them. If they've got a video game store at $4 each, they might be able to profit on that. Um, but even if they're just looking to play the games themselves, buying video games on eBay for $4 each is a massive win. But in the context of the buy that we've got, I've been able to, got, I've been able to get all of these video games here which are gonna be worth more than $15 after I've done the split. Um, so going through all of these games, I was absolutely stoked to see some absolute rippers in here. Um, a couple of highlights that I can point out for you. Um, you got this one down here, The Simpsons Hit and Run. It's not a black label, but it is a platinum version, and the platinum versions can still go for about $75 for that game there. So The Simpsons Hit and Run, uh, it was a really, really good game. Um, Warriors as well, I thought that was an interesting one. That was some overseas comps going for some pretty decent money. Warriors Orochi. Um, we've got the Warriors itself here in a, in a Platinum Edition. That goes for about $45. Some awesome Wii games. We've got Mario Kart, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, two of them. And then a Wii Sports Resort that goes for about $45. Um, this one here is an awesome, awesome game, guys. And actually the other one as well. If I drop that down there. Yeah, this one here, I'll put some comps up on eBay, but it goes for about a hundred bucks. Divinity, Origin Sin, Enhanced. That's where the value lies, Enhanced Edition. So I was, I was absolutely stoked to see that. And the game is in pretty good condition and it's also got its manual as well. So absolutely wrapped about that. Um, the Amiibo was going for about $35. So hopefully Simon can sell. I thought I'd pick up those. Amiibos do really, really well. Uh, and then all of these games, I've still got a list. These are all listed in my eBay store. Um, and these are as well. I think this one here was a big $90 game as well. Um, if you can find Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter Stories, that game there was worth about 90 bucks. So that was pretty damn epic. There it is there. So that's the way I do my video games. That's the reason why in the bulk deals, I say yes to everything in the video game category and no to the DVDs. Uh, DVDs, you can't do this. You can't put them into those bulk allocations. That's just the PlayStation 2s, the Xboxes and the, and the Wii's. Down here though, down here I have um, what I'm exactly what I'm gonna be doing for those PlayStation 2s. I've got Xbox 360, Xbox One, PS3, PS1, DS, and Wii. None of these go for over $15. They're all cheap per their individual consoles, and there's six new listings there at, at what I'm gonna do at $4 a piece. So, you know, $20 listing there, $40 listing there. This stuff gets purchased, guys, even at $4 in bundles like this. So don't be afraid to go ahead and just buy any single video game you find because you can do the split and it can go on to sell well. What I will say, 
this little um, bookshelf here in this entire room of inventory, this bookcase, look at all this, look at all this stock that I've got in this, in this garage of mine. It's only a single car garage, it's not big at all. Um, but I sold $20,000 worth of video games on eBay last year out of these six shelves. So if that doesn't tell you that the sell-through rate in this category of video games isn't strong, you know, nothing will. So $20,000 out of two shelves, I'm going big on the video game category in 2024. And I'm very, very happy at the start of 2024 to be able to pick up deals like this because there is absolutely hundreds and hundreds of dollars worth of value. So it's definitely something that I'm going to be doing in 2024 a, a whole lot more. These viewer purchases, going out, making videos, doing private picks. Um, a massive thank you to Jordan. If you are in a position where you're thinking about maybe getting out of eBay and you've got some stock that you want to go and on sell, um, feel free to get in touch with myself on Instagram at the Aussie Flipper because I am looking to do this uh, pretty regularly in 2024. I really kind of want to almost source all of my stock from private buyers and the flea market every single Sunday. Pardon me. Um, appreciate you watching, guys. I'm going to leave you with another private pick if you enjoyed this video. Uh, there's another private pick for you guys to tune into there. But thank you very much for being here for this one.